Okay, I know I say this every time, but this might be my new favorite corset. <laughs> so recently I made a short where I styled Disney's Rapunzel as a modern high fantasy character. And it was really fun. It was kind of a weird little offshoot idea. I've done a couple of them now. Go watch them if they sound interesting. That short specifically made me remember, it was like the floodgates opened on my memory. I remembered how obsessed I was with the concept art for Disney's Tangled when it came out. This might be one of my coldest takes but I personally think that concept art is usually better than the final product. And I'm sure that's because they do not have the same parameters on like time, creativity, and money. So it just looks like it's more fun to us who know nothing. But specifically, Claire Keane, who was a concept artist on the movie, and uh, coincidentally, the daughter of Glenn Keane, who's like one of the most famous animators of all time who worked for Disney, her concept art for this movie is just so gorgeous. I could stare at them for hours. And what I love specifically are her ideas for Rapunzel's costume. Don't get me wrong, I love pink and purple. I am, after all, a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. But there is something about these cooler tones that I feel like works better with the character. And I just, I just they just speak to me in some way. I like them. Luckily, some of her art was actually used in the final product, uh, specifically the walls of Rapunzel's towers, what she's painting on the inside. That's clear keen. And I think that's very cool. So this will be broken up into two videos. This video is going to be the corset and the next video is going to be the dress. We're doing the same thing that I did for my Aurora videos. And the next video will be the last weekly video we have for a while. This is your second to last weekly reminder to subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me out and you support the channel by doing so. So thank you so much if you do. And with that, let's move on to the design phase. These are the main three artworks I'm taking my inspiration from. I love all of these small details of the embroidered flowers, but since my dress fabric is thrifted and it already has an embroidered pattern all over it, I'm going to be taking this inspiration for this type of embroidery and putting it on my corset instead. So it looks like these corsets go slightly over the hips, so I'm gonna go for a late Victorian style corset. Now I've done this style a couple of times before, but I wanna make it a bit shorter like the concept art, and I wanna try to really get a cinched waist more than I've done before just to really get that late Victorian silhouette. I'm then going to accessorize this to the gods. <laughs> I have a small floral trim that will go around the edges similarly to the artwork and then I bought some see-through butterflies to add all around the corset. Is this in the concept art? No. Does Tangled have anything to do with butterflies? No. Did I see these online and my impulse control went out the window? Yes. <laughs> so they're going to be all over the corset. And here is the final design. I think this is a nice mix of the concept art and some of my own design. And I'm so excited to add all of these accessories, which I think are just gonna be so cute. Okay, let's get sewing. So here's the fabric for the dress, which I thrifted and I believe are curtains. I think this kind of embroidered looking pattern is just beautiful on it. And I bought a set of light green pillowcases to go with it for the corset. I'm going to once again be using this pattern and specifically this style for the corset. But once again, I'm gonna be making some small fit and style changes. Since I have made this similar corset before and I've gone into much more detail, I have a video where I kind of break down this corset and how I make it. And I'll also put my corset playlist above as well. So I've mentioned this before, but this corset pattern was sent to me by mistake and it came in a size too small, so I had to size it up a bit. I ended up sizing it up too much, but I'd rather it be too large than too small. And I added a bit more beyond that at the hips to make that silhouette even more drastic. I cut out four pieces of each pattern piece because one is going to be the outer shell and one is going to be lined with two layers of interfacing to create extra stability.
is rainy and overcast and usually I love a good rainy day but we've been having more than our fair share over the past couple of months and uh, I, I'm actually looking forward to some sun <laughs> which I think is a 180 from what I said in my last video. I'm very changeable. <laughs> it is finally time to start sewing this thing together. I'm very excited. I have some really fun accessories that I cannot wait to put on this thing but uh, first we gotta put all the pieces together. So we'll flatline all of the pattern pieces together and then put all those pieces together. Bless you. <laughs> Here we go.
I'm feeling very Mamma Mia, here we go again today, which honestly, goals. It is finally time to move on to accessorizing. Yay. A couple of things. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just not ever prepared. Whoops. First, I have this, oh, where's the end? <laughs> this is going to be the trim for the end. It's just this nice, cute little pink floral. Unfortunately, when I tried this on for fit, and this happens sometimes, that's why I like eyelets more than grommets, it kind of pierced through the fabric, these fronts. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of just doing this on the top and the bottom, I'm also gonna have it go like, right next to the grommets so that I can get some extra stitches in there and hopefully kind of save it. And then the second thing, which I'm very excited about, these cute little butterflies that have two wings so the top wings kind of like float above and I think that's <laughs> such a cute detail. Yeah, I guess this brings in a little bit of that pink and purple, or I guess at least the pink <laughs> from the original design. I was just kind of getting carried away with accessorizing because I haven't really accessorized a lot on my previous corset, so. It's gonna be a few hours of this, but after that, we'll be done. Yay! Okay, I know I say this every time, but this might be my new favorite corset. <laughs> I just love the accessories and I finally got that cinched waist to hip ratio pretty accurate and the butterflies just the butterflies alone oh my goodness <laughs> yeah I really love this corset I think <clears throat> excuse me it's allergies I'm so happy and I'm so excited to get started on the dress be sure to subscribe if you want to make sure to catch next week's video which will be the dress portion and like and comment if you like this video that really helps me out but until then thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope you had a good time and I hope to see you back here next week
Bye.